this is Elise. Thanks for joining. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to view, create, and save customized postcard backs and email footers. Many marketing pieces in your library are built with an attached email footer. Likewise, all postcard marketing pieces in your library are built with an attached postcard back. To view the back of your postcard, click on the Postcard Back button in the page list. To view the footer of your email, click on the Email Footer button in the page list. In most cases, you can swap out the attached email footer or postcard back with a customized piece you create. You'll know if a postcard back or email footer can be customized if the Save icon appears next to the back or the footer in the page list. To create and save a customized back or footer, first, edit the piece as you wish. In this example, we'll remove the logo. Next, click the Save icon next to Postcard Back. Name your postcard back something that you'll remember in the space provided and click Save. Notice your customized back displays in the library below. If you'd like to make this the default back for all Jumbo postcards, check this box. Please note that postcard backs and email footers are determined by the type of marketing piece you're working with, which means that any customized back or footer you save will only be available for use on the same type of piece it was created on. For example, if you create a customized back for a jumbo size postcard, you will not be able to use this on a regular size postcard, but you can set it as the default back for all jumbo size postcards. To load a customized back, select the back you'd like to load by clicking on the title and click the Load the Selected Customized Back button at the bottom of the window. To load the original Jumbo postcard back, simply click this button to revert back to the original postcard back. Note, it is not possible to undo any actions you take loading backs or footers. To remove a customized back from your library, simply click on the red X next to the corresponding back you'd like to remove. To view, create, and save customized email footers, follow the same steps as you would for postcard backs. And that completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.